Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're doing well this morning. I kind of kind of slept in this morning. It felt felt pretty good. I got up uh, about three hours later than I usually do. <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. All right. Well, this morning we're going to start off with a, <clears throat> a passage from uh, Psalm 107. And then we're going to Genesis. And then we have a reading in Ephesians. So, let's get started. Psalm 107, verses 1 through 3, and then 17 through 22. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, and from the north and from the south. Some were fools through their sinful ways, and because of their iniquities suffered affliction. They loathed any kind of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man, and let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, and tell of his deeds in songs of joy. Good stuff. All right. The Old Testament lesson, Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 through 17. And here we go. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, Behold, I establish my covenant with you and your offspring after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the livestock, and every beast of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. It is for every beast of the earth. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth, and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of, the, of all flesh." and the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. Good stuff. All right. The New Testament lesson this morning. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 3 through 6 and this one is entitled the spiritual blessings in Christ Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in every spiritual blessing blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him in love in in love, he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved. And this is the word of the Lord this morning. All right. Let me go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, whose grace always proceeds and follows us, help us to forsake all trust in earthly gain and to find in you our heavenly treasure. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen and amen. Well, short and sweet this morning. Uh, so with that, hope you have a great day. So be safe, be happy, be blessed. We will see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. God bless.